this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. Thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday morning. We're bringing breaking news to you as we do on this Feel Good Breakfast studio. Uh, HIV, this pandemic, it is something that it is... People, people have a global effort. They're trying to find, find results. They're trying to find cures for this disease since it first broke out in the 80s. Now, we've had numerous discussions on the show, and this morning we bring you another. Today in South Africa, the first participant with a large-scale HIV vaccine trial that has started, uh, as I understand, a week ago, designed to prevent a strain of HIV. I want to talk about this this morning. SA Medical Research Council, Dr. And Professor Glenda Gray is with us in our studio to explain this important moment as it's breakthrough. Professor, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I want to understand more about this because we say it's a breakthrough. We also say a strain of HIV. So let's just get into it. The trial has started, what I understand, in the process since 2009. Last week was particularly significant for you guys. Tell me more about how you came to this point. What is busy happening? So we've been working on HIV vac vaccine trials for many years. And in 2009, there was a trial done in Thailand that showed modest efficacy. So it, it was a partially efficacious vaccine. And so we were very excited and we took those findings in 2009 and tried to adapt them to South Africa. And so we have a clade C strain. We have a uh, clade C is the strain that circulates in South Africa. And so we adapted this vaccine regimen to make it more clade C specific. Plus we tried to make it more potent by adding a certain uh, adjuvant that which, which makes the, the vaccine more potent and we added a new protein so try to adapt it so we built on what, what we already knew and try to make it uh, lo local and also try to make it more potent and durable and so we've been working on this um, last two years ago we, we, we tried it in a small group of people to make sure that we had good vaccine induced immune responses and we met the go no go criteria the green light to forge ahead in this this big trial in South Africa 5,418 to 35 year olds in 15 sites from Mtata to Shoshonguwe, from Cape Town to, to Durban. How do you find the people? It's local people in the community. Uh, these are young people who are HIV negative who want to make a difference. Mm -hmm. They have parents, families, sisters, brothers who've been affected by HIV and they, they, they want to commit themselves to science and they want to be part of the, the discovery. This is a prevention. This is a prevention. Okay. This is to prevent, it's like preventing a measles, it's a vaccine. So how different is it to something like HPV that uh, our kids get? I mean, it's part of the vaccine schedule. Uh, you see that nine-year-old females, for instance, have to go for a vaccine like that. Uh, is this another thing that we will eventually have to give our children or grown-ups as a series of vaccinations? We hope so. So, you know, in our, if this vaccine works mm. and it gets licensed, our dream is to roll it out with two young children mm. with, with the HPV vaccine. So mm. we would use the, the knowledge of, of, of trying to roll out a program with HPV and we would, we would piggyback on that approach. Right. What could this mean for us? Because, I mean, this is revolutionary. You, you already, 15 sites with so many people that's already taking part. What would this mean if, if you do license it? Well, imagine, you know, this is the only trial that's happening um, at, at a global level. This will be the first time, we're only doing it in South Africa. It'll be the first time uh, we could or maybe license an HIV vaccine if it is, if it works. It'll be a, a game changer. It'll be wonderful. Imagine if we find an HIV vaccine in South Africa. Sure, well, it's HIV prevention. I, 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 it's something that I can only dream of because it is something that we are very sensitive about. It is something that we need a cure for. So thank you so much. This also means a lot for us females. I wanted to touch on that, but we've run out of time. So I say that because women, I think, are sometimes the most vulnerable when it comes to sexual relationships. So Professor, thank you so much for joining us it's on our pleasure. show. And uh, for bringing good news. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso.